Let me get started in keeping with the with the timing. It's already 4 p.m. short here Brussels times. So welcome to um, QE AI wrap up webinar as part of the Impact Tech webinar wrap up webinar series. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's great to have you today. We have an amazing team. Uh, my name is Roman, and I work with uh, European Schoolnet, who is hosting hosting the events today. Um, I'm joined today by my colleague Maria. She's in the background, and she'll be she'll be ensuring everything runs smoothly throughout the webinar. So I think we're ready to to begin already. I'll say a few words about Impact EdTech, uh, who we are. We are a European incubator accelerator for startups and SMEs. Um, so Impact EdTech is managed by a consortium of three partners that have complementary expertise. Um, so European Schoolnet, we are a network of 33 European ministries of education. We teamed up with ESD, uh, the worldwide leader in digital education, as well as Funding Box, uh, which is an EU expert in funding opportunities, knowledge and connections. Um, over the, the past two and a half years, we have supported a total of 43 European innovators to thrive and develop their digital educative solutions. We have achieved this via three open calls and Kobe AI, AI, whom we are welcoming today, uh, is a participant of our third open call, which is ending at the end of the month. Um, so the third open call uh, from Impact EdTech targeted EdTech solutions um, that can work towards more inclusive education, personalized learning and skills development that are relevant in today's world. Um, there were 278 eligible startups uh, that submitted their applications and uh, only 17 were selected to take part in the incubation program. Um, they were the most promising solutions from the batch and uh, they benefited from a four month incubation program. And among these, only eight made it to the second stage, the acceleration program and Kobe AI being one of them. So today's webinar will showcase uh, the good results from the acceleration stage where the Kobe AI startup had the opportunity to pilot their solution in schools and classroom from different countries in Europe. And we'll hear today from the startup and the piloting teachers on their experiences and the results of the program. In a nutshell, uh, let me just explain as well what makes uh, us unique at IMPACT um, so that we envision that uh, the acceleration stage of IMPACT uh, being equally beneficial for the startups, for the mentors, as well as the teachers and the schools involved in the program. It provides the startups with access to equity-free financial support, as well as thorough business and educational mentoring, and also piloting in real educational settings. We'll learn more in a, in a minute. Um, as for teachers and schools that take part in the program, we are very proud to provide them with access to the most innovative educational technologies. Um, they thus have the opportunity to try the newest products and prototypes on the market to test these prototypes and to provide their feedback. And in doing so, uh, they support innovators thriving uh, and improving their solutions solutions to ultimately achieve a tech excellency. Thank you very much. That was all for this very short introduction. Um, we hope that you will enjoy the webinar. I have including the Impact Ed Tech social media and handles in of our website. Um, if you also wish to contact me personally, my email is written there. Um, now I will introduce you to the Kobe AI team and to today's speakers. Um, so for this webinar, we'll welcome Miha, and I believe that um, the associate Thomas is also uh, here. You can see them both. Uh, they are the Kobe AI representatives. Miha is the CEO and founder of Kobe. We have, they are accompanied by Herman. Herman is uh, Kobe AI's educational, long-term educational mentor, knows very well the startup, has been following them and helped them throughout their development and progresses. And finally, we'll have uh, the testimony from one of the three pilot teachers, Preeti, uh, that tested the solution in a real educational test setting. 
very exciting program for today. Thank you very much. Uh, I know stop my presentation and I leave you the floor. I'll be moderating uh, this webinar. Here you go. Thanks. Let me share my screen. Is it the screen visible? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So thank you very much for having us, for having us within the program. My name is Mika. I'm founder of Codebrainer, where we created Kobe AI, an AI assistant for coding classes. We believe that teachers should teach and everything else should be done by Kobe. Even though we started with a good foundations when we joined Impact EdTech, we made such a big progress uh, during the program. And we now have a great product that we can offer to schools and teachers all around the Europe and actually around the world. Impact EdTech was a great inspiration to us. We got, we got the acceleration, we got the technical support, we got pedagogical support, we got business support. And most important for us, we got a bunch of great mentors that were able to help us move along and uh, work during the program. Also, we got a nice grant that helps us, uh, help us uh, build our vision and create this product. We come from small countries, Slovenia. I always had to explain how small we are uh, and uh, how different our approach is to sync market. And having mentors from bigger markets really helped us a lot to see uh, what their experience is all about, what they did what they were able to achieve. And this were really, really good to hear from our perspective. I don't know how other startups feel, but we got just the best mentors ever. We could not be more proud of the choice you made for us. And I will briefly introduce both mentors that were here with us working on our, uh, pile, uh, our product and making it even better. I will start with Christina. She was our mentor. She's really great mentor. And in the first talk we, ha we had with her was uh, her explaining us that we must reach out to the teachers. We must go out, talk to them, get the responses for them, uh, get the feedbacks and start building what they want. And this is what we did during the first stage. We talked to really a lot of teachers, uh, probably more than 50 teachers. Uh, we talked during the first stage. We really got to know what they wanted from us. And this was really great. Also, Christina is from a fast growing ad tech startup called Fiction Express, where they teach uh, uh, young kids how to read in English. And it's really great that we got experience from first hand, uh, seeing uh, how uh, ad tech startups work, how they operate. And she gave us a lot of instructions, how to build our, our funnels, how to approach our uh, prospects and how to work with them. She really helped us make a big step forward and changed our perspective, how to communicate and really go out of building. Our uh, educational mentor was Herman and I cannot explain, but on first meeting we got, we got immediate understanding from Herman. He knew what Kobe does, what Kobe could do and what the Kobe will do in the future. It was really amazing. It was amazing to see how much understanding we got from, uh, from him from the start. It was really nice working with him. Uh, and he gave us um, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of uh, suggestion how to build the ped pedagogical aspect of our product and really bring it to the next level. 
he also uh, gave us opportunities, a lot of opportunities to present our solution in front of teachers on, on events that he was, uh, uh, he was uh, working on. And we are really grateful that we had such an opportunity. And uh, later on, Herman will tell you a bit more about these events we went on. And we are really grateful for Herman as well. But enough about us. Let's talk about Kobe, what Kobe does. Kobe boosts teachers' abilities. Kobe keeps what teachers know and really boosts them to work with the whole class at the same time. I always start with the short story, how we started, how, we, uh, how our solution came to life. We wanted to build online solution from start. This means that we wanted to offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring to the students for this to be an experience from students' perspective, that they are being mentored, they're being helped as if they were in person working with that teacher. We were lucky enough to carry out all the experiments in, uh, in real life. So we went in the classroom where we observed students and taught them how to program. We did this in a special way. One of us, took a role of a teacher, and one of us took a role of an instructor. And this second one is really important. Teacher was giving the lecture, and instructor was going around the class, seeing what students are doing and helping them move on so that the, uh, they didn't have uh, any problems or any challenges they didn't, uh, uh, didn't know how to solve. And this instructor is basically the foundation for what Kobe does at the moment. And even during blended learning, we were able to implement some of the features we are offering now in the smart classroom. We were able to see student codes. We were able to com communicate with students. And this is really now grown to the stage where we can offer this smart classroom to the teachers in schools so that they can work with students. So let us see what are the benefits of Kobe, uh, Kobe AI for the teachers. Coding is hard and it's hard to teach, but we are strong believers that everybody can and should understand coding. This means that in the future, we believe that a lot of jobs will be based on some level of coding skills. We don't know if this will be in the same way that we don't do programming at the moment, but probably in the, in the future, every job will contain some sort of coding. It's hard to explain, but even teachers are guided by Kobe as we embedded lessons plan they can relax a bit and just be a teacher, be a motivator and be a guide to the students. Teachers can be sure that Kobe will help them. They will see overview of the whole classroom and get insights into what students are doing at the moment. Suggestions prepared by Kobe will be based on the student's code and everything is in the cloud, so no installation is needed. Also, having a cloud infrastructure made, makes blended learning, uh, makes our solution perfect for blended learning. This means that some of the students can be in the classroom and some of the students can join from their home, for example. We have embedded lessons plan. What does this mean? that there is pre-prepared lectures for students and for teachers to use. We have many types of content. We have a voice, we have text, we have images, and we also have assignments that students learn, and learn from and solve and uh, learn coding with. Great thing is that we built in lesson plan for teacher as well. 
This means the teacher have a quick and easy preparation for each class, uh, each class and each lesson. They also have help during the lesson. They can see where they are within the lecture. They can see the progress of students and they can control what Kobe does. And also everything is uh, prepared and explained by Kobe by all the, uh, the content we prepare. And they can also use it out of box. What we have focused on for the content is that we are showcasing the transition from block-based to text-based programming. This is perfect for introduction into coding for kids from nine to 14 years old, depending on curriculum, depending on countries, it makes it perfect for them to start learning how to code. We take kids from zero knowledge to writing Python code, and this is amazing. Students are, uh, students are important to us as well, and we do a lot to make them more engaged. We have prepared a blocky editor for them to play our game with. They, uh, they have real IDE, meaning real development environment in cloud where they can write Python. This means that they are really proud. They really understand how the, uh, the job of developer will look like in real environment. And this is really encouraging for them. But everything is still game-based. They are still solving challenges. And this really motivates them and keeps, uh, keeps them discovering new knowledge while they learn. Also, we were able to build a chat or a new way of communication. Every task and student and uh, teacher com can communicate. And this is just perfect for those held back students, meaning that they don't have to wait till the end of the class, but they can ask during the lesson and they get answers right away from the teacher. This also makes more intimate conversation between students and teacher and really helps them move along. And they are more motivated and they like uh, to learn more and better. We have built everything uh, on, uh, on game-based learning. This means that students get challenges, they solve with blocks, they solve with Python, and also for the next year, we are featuring unplugged computer science. This means that they will be solving challenges even before they touch the computer. This means that even younger children will be able to join in, to start uh, algorithmic thinking, to develop the way they will solve their uh, challenges during the education for computer science. And having a game to link all these things uh, with each other, it really helps students understand coding better. They were really amazed that we were able to offer uh, this game also in Python. This meaning that before this game, they usually had to program and print out uh, to the console during the Python education. But now they are controlling our hero through the maze, picking up, um, picking up objects, opening doors, and so on. And they are really, really excited when they are solving uh, these challenges. So what is Kobe? Or better, should I say, who is Kobe? Well, Kobe is the name for our technology. It gives a bit of personality of all the technologies we have built to make this kind of platform uh, possible. But underneath, a lot of things are hidden and are still important. For example, we have built a system that enables us to prepare synthetic lectures. This means that we can make easy, uh, easy um, editing and change the whole feeling for the lecture in no time at all. We can do translation. 
uh, voices are generated for us. So this means no need for uh, recording an audio. And this is also the base to make our content personalized as each and every student can go and solve all the challenges in their pace, take as much time as they need and just uh, learn as they go. We have built everything on scalable infrastructure. Why we have done that is because we believe that as we grow, we need to respond uh, really quickly to the demands of specific countries, specific schools, and this automated system really helps us do that. Because we have built a system in a way that responds to how many students are working on our system and then adds new virtual machines so that the students can work and really experience Kobe in the best way possible. Also, we can make customization for specific countries. Some countries have different regulations. Some countries have different expectation for contact, uh, content, and we can make all these adjustments for their needs. Also, what we wanted is to, uh, to keep data on our infrastructure. This means that we control what we serve, what we store, and this is really important if we want to keep students' uh, data private. This is why we went so far and also implemented analytics that is on our infrastructure. This means that no third party is involved in uh, reaching our data since everything is here with us. Also, as I explained before, everything is cloud-based, so no installation needed for the schools, for the teachers, for the students. And this really helps us uh, uh, be quicker with reaching out to the schools. This slide is what I'm really excited about. We were really hard at work making new uh, features for the next school year. We are really proud that next year we will be able to offer a game editor for the teachers. This meaning that teachers will have an ability to build more mazes, more challenges that students will solve. You can already see here how many mazes we can create. Actually, I can say that these mazes were created but uh, by uh, really enthusiastic students because I was explaining what we will do in the next year and she asked me if she can build some mazes and we started working on them and I presented this as a few samples of uh, challenges they will be able to use next year. Also, what we are adding, we saw that there is a lot of uh, communication, communication going on in the chat. And we wanted to have a great way to ask uh, students about their current knowledge, but do it in an interactive way. This is why we are integrating quizzes into chat. This means the teacher and also content will be able to ask students about specific knowledge and they will answer with pre-prepared options. They will be able to answer with uh, with uh, short answers, they will be able to su su submit mood, uh, mood checks, this meaning that the teacher can check if uh, the content is okay, if they're excited, and maybe uh, prepare something more for them for the next lesson. Also, like I mentioned, we are preparing unplugged computer science content for the next year. This means that even younger, kids will get an introduction into computer science. And they will be more, uh, more prepared to start programming with Blockly and easily transitioned to the com uh, using computer during learning how to code. For those really advanced students, we will build JavaScript gaming content where they will have a special project they can work on while they wait 
for uh, for other students because heterogeneous groups are really something that we need to take care of uh, because uh, the difference in skill uh, skill level is really really big in computer science and some of the students really want to learn a bit more so let me repeat, repeat a bit more what kind of value for education kobe does offer we see that biggest value we are offering is that teacher becomes motivator because Kobe does the lecturing, Kobe uh, has a structured lesson plan, all integrated. They can focus on being there for, for the students, sharing their experience, uh, being more personalized. And we know that this is the role the teacher wanted when they started to learn how to be a teacher. Also, we are offering a lot of tools that make managing heterogeneous group easier because everything is in uh, is um, uh, positioned in the cloud blended learning is also out of box some students can stay in class some students can join from their home and also this is really appropriate for those schools that have different location and teacher can teach from one location to separate classrooms we are really grateful that we did a lot of piloting this year. Uh, and we are grateful to Impact EdTech because we were able to reach a lot of countries as well. We did 11 pilots within schools. We reached four countries. And also, we are really, really proud that gender equality was really high. Because if we reach those children, in younger stage, we can really motivate them to learn about ICT, to learn how to code and really use this knowledge for their job opportunities over the years. As you all know, ICT is really male dominant um, uh, domain and we really need to work on this. And we are so proud that it's happening within the schools right now. Also, piloting gave us a great results. Teachers were really, really grateful that they had opportunity working with us. And most of the schools already signed up to work with us in the next year. And they are excited to give more knowledge to more students that come within the next year. Now, I would like to give uh, the word to Herman. Heron was our educational mentor, and he's really strong believer in Kobe. He knows what Kobe does, and he knows what Kobe will do in the future. And he really guided us through the pedagogical aspect of the, of the system. And please, Herman, take the, on the stage. Uh, thank you very much for these nice words again. I can't imagine that it's eight months. I mean, what have we done in these eight months is so much information, so many projects. Uh, let me start up uh, with the beginning. Thank you very much for the coordinators. Yes, uh, and uh, thank you very much to uh, the Kobe guys. It was a pleasure to get details to her. And when I say her, it's Kobe I'm talking about. Uh, we had so much fun together this year that I just wrap up and I try to be short and uh, saying the most important impressions we had. The idea what you said, uh, Micha, was that I code uh, and coach uh, you so, uh, through this um, phase. And uh, what we were starting with um, was to create scenarios. I don't want uh, to talk about scenarios in detail. Everybody connected to the future classroom lab in Brussels at the European School Net definitely can look up at the toolkit what we are thinking about if we are working with scenarios. And uh, from my past, I was uh, starting at European School Net in 2010. So all this development until the teacher academies was part uh, and uh, let's say they combined me through all these years. So what are them scenarios? It's more or less the setting of infrastructure in school. Um, in former times, teachers were working in hours in lessons. 
nowadays uh, in the 21st century arrangement, everybody has to pick up the trends, work with the trends and goes down to the details so that students really uh, get well through all this technology reaching a pedagogical goal. Um, it is uh, definitely um, in uh, computer science uh, that there are some uh, programs uh, already in run. Uh, in my school, in the international school, we are running the MYP project, which is part of the International Baccalaureate. So the basic idea of our work that year was uh, to reach that international standard. There are so different levels of uh, digitization all over station all over Europe, but this is something like a workbench that is really in use. Uh, we were starting um, with uh, this uh, Python and Blockly tool, which in Austria will be part of the digitization grade nine in September. So we were really late incomers, but it seems that we are in the pole position now because uh, what Kobe really helps uh, is uh, it is not just one program. Definitely, yes, at the moment it is coding, but it will also be the basics of Python um, in case of artificial intelligence, which is not just a coding language, which is, let's say, the new alphabet of KI. Secondly, uh, there will be the HTML and the CSS and JavaScript uh, strategy, which is also something like an alphabet of the 21st century, because uh, even if it is no more part on the smartphone, but it is the background of every communication tool and very important of IoT. So the German version of um, Kobe was our uh, first part in that phase since February. Uh, to be sure that it, uh, that she is answering in, in German, which motivates my students a bit more, because usually if we are part of a computer science course, it will be in English in all over the world, because it is definitely the language of the computing systems. So this is one great part you have brought in this phase to say, OK, if it is not a big thing, then let's change into German, Slovenian, Swedish or whatever, which is definitely unpayable, yes? Then, um, what I said uh, before, it is not just the, the way of coding, it is the way of collaboration with Typewriter, which is again a project we have started. Typewriter, everybody knows the basics of typing on a keyboard, will be a key strategy, a key skill, let's say it this way, uh, because it is not just, uh, you know, uh, the way of using smartphones this is definitely to put in information, to work with information and to get out information. And this is done in keyboards for our next generation too. So very happy about that, uh, that we have brought uh, this cooperation, let's say, to the first step, because in Austria we have strategies, but it was not possible until now to personalize it. So it seems that we are now on the run to personalize typewriting, really uh, adopted to the skills of students. Would you be so nice to click once? Uh, whoever, thanks a lot very much. Um, so let's take uh, the task two. I, I, I prepared for this day three tasks uh, we have done just to show in how many different fields we were working. Uh, task two was part of dissemination, uh, which is, uh, I mean, I, I just picked out, let's say the key uh, events, the main events, I think we had, I, I was looking up, I think we had 10 events. So the smaller one, please don't mind, I will ignore. What are the really disseminating strategies we have done? It is the international conferences. The first one, I just followed this uh, overview, was the biggest event in Austria, Interpedagogica, where you have been working for three days, showing about uh, three to 4,000 teachers, Theoretically, I mean, I wonder how many of them you really got, but uh, these thousands of people have seen that there is something like artificial intelligence in school, which is definitely new in Austria. If you look around uh, in these masses, you know, in these events, uh, this is a complete new strategy and you are on the top, uh, I would say, showing that that's in school if you compare it to businesses. It is not in businesses at the moment, not in every business. Some some of these avatars, yes, but artificial intelligence. I'm feeling that this is we are in the pilot situations. Presentations uh, on this stand, I have said, and then uh, our last baby, let's call it this way, the International Design Fields Conference in Istanbul, which 
I was taking part uh, face to face. It was a pleasure to work with our Turkish colleagues. And what you can't imagine, how are you working with 120 teachers with one presentation? Uh, I mean, it was really a challenge. Uh, so you did it in an excellent way that they said, OK, where can we get this? <laughs> and I said, it is not for free, sorry. Uh, but uh, what the Turkish teachers from all regions of Turkey, it was from the West, from Istanbul to Anatol, all these parts were part. And the outcome was, how can I use that with my students? My students would be motivated. Oh my God, this is really working. Yeah. So these are some of these splits of, of, of uh, insights that came out of that. And um, with all these stakeholders too, you, we usually get the same output. What a motivating tool, you know? I mean, if you say coding, yeah, uh, this is usually for students uh, coding. For teachers, oops, coding. Uh, uh, so in this way, they say, ah, coding, it helps me. The one and only thing is, and just let me say one half sentence in that direction, it is not an easy job to fo follow all this uh, ethical stuff, you know? So we will discuss, is it really necessary that a teacher intervenes one time a lesson so that Kobe, that she does not organize the whole lesson, but this is what will be maybe part of one of the next uh, projects. Let me go to the workshops in school. We had an excellent workshop in uh, one of our neighbor school in the Future Learning Lab. At the 12th of um, May, when you were in school, you were face to face in Austria. Then uh, two of them that are also in my mind uh, from Evangelisches Gymnasium at the 24th. As you see, it is not more than a week. Uh, where we did uh, the work with um, the upper uh, students. Uh, they were from the grade 9 to 12, so between 17 and 19 years old, having fun in Python, having seen Python first time and asking me later, where can I get it? Um, second, we had uh, that day uh, GRG 10, where you worked with uh, secondary one students at the age of 12. Um, you also did a video on that. I mean, it was a nice experience to all of us. They are very happy students on that. And last not least, uh, we were also working with the uh, Weinstadtgasse and uh, with uh, the primary students that were in on the 24th of uh, June. Kids uh, from the private um, um, primary school in uh, Eichsingergasse. They were coaching and uh, then they were already forgetting that they had to do another job. So they were sitting there and being Ah, oh, waiting for input. Uh, please, the last uh, click from my side to task number three. Thank you very much. Uh, so all in all, we can say uh, that the collaboration uh, is fruitful, yeah, because uh, we now created the Pedagogical University, which is my second uh, job, as you know, as a coordinator and as a, a presenter on the Pedagogical University of Vienna. We are now on the run on a didactical scenario. Today I had a meeting with Michael, and it seems that we are now in e-education uh, in time in September. So this is also agreed. This is for you, Thomas and Mia. Yes, we will be in time online for sure. It, it is working. It will, be a, uh, it will be a nice summer to me, but uh, we will get it. And then just uh, name uh, the pedagogical high schools. This is Lower Austria, the Catechal PH Vienna, which is our partner in Vienna, the second big one. Then for Alberg, I have talked about that with uh, the uh, typewriter. Linz, which is working with e-education and definitely the e-education Austria, which is uh, derived by the Ministry of Education. Uh, that is, uh, let's say, um, an insight uh, about the track we are going. So we were starting bottom up. We were starting with the curriculum in September. You have fulfilled this curriculum more than uh, Wished. So we have already added, uh, as you had said, uh, unplugged tools and Python tools, and we ended, uh, it couldn't be better, I would say, um, at the pedagogical high schools. This is a challenge for all of us uh, because they are not easy sometimes, but uh, it seems uh, that you are opening a market in a trend uh, that is unbeatable, that is unstoppable. And uh, once again, I want to close, so it seems to be the last seconds of my presentation, the last minute, uh, with uh, big thanks to you and to Kobe uh, for having uh, got new impressions, new ideas of how to implement uh, all this uh, stuff in school. Last sentence, yes, we hope that there will be a math homework tool, mathematics for students. Yes, we hope that it will go into languages. Thank you very much, and I hand over to Priti.
Thanks so much, Herman. What a great testimony. It's uh, it's amazing to see everything that you have invested in this solution and the time you've given and, and the great dissemination. I'm, I'm personally amazed uh, by everything uh, you've done and how much you've spread the word uh, and uh, it's still ongoing. So congrats. Let's hear now indeed from Pretty and having the, the point of view of the pilot teachers over the three months classroom piloting. Pretty, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Preeti and I'm a teacher from Sweden. I have uh, piloted this, uh, oops, coding. No, yay, Kobe. Uh, actually, as, as Herman said, uh, it is true that when it comes to coding, teachers usually first say, oops, nay, uh, because it is, uh, we are still not very comfortable teaching coding to the students. So uh, I totally agree with uh, what Harman said. But after Kobe came in uh, in the scene, then we can always say, yay, Kobe, uh, AI, So because it helps us. So uh, it helps in many ways, actually, not only in building confidence for the teachers, it also saves time for, time for us teachers because we have a helping hand, uh, not, uh, not only as a, like, a, and the, and the platform, rather the platform has embedded videos in it, which actually takes the part of the lecture of the teacher. And so the teacher has time to take care of the students who need help. Uh, this is one part where we, it is a great time saver. The second one is that it is, we have inbuilt assistant in, in, assistance in the uh, Kobe AI platform, which also helps us like there's an extra person who can help the, uh, the students because it is already inbuilt. The teachers can keep an eye uh, on the students through their, uh, on the screen itself, they can see if the students are online uh, and if they are working, who needs help, how is it going for all the students. So, I mean, multi multitasking is just like, it's just like ABC of Kobe AI for the teachers. Uh, because we can have so many walls in the air all the time and we can always help the students. Um, also, um, like as I said before also that uh, when it comes to coding, many teachers feel very, very, very uh, uncomfortable teaching to the students because they already know that the students are really digital natives, that the age and they are, they already know so many things. And the teachers have uh, are not very much ready to to teach coding right now, at, because there is no formal education right uh, for the teachers, and also the teacher, the school also do not support the teachers that much by sending them for any professional development or something. So the teachers struggle all the time. But Kobe AI uh, has come up like as a kind kind of a uh, what an angel with the with this uh, with the with the stick that can just like take away all the problems so that is really very good uh, another thing about kb kobe ai which we liked was it is a uh, structured and it is uh, it goes from like for example starting from the block based it's a good progression uh, it goes from the block base and then when the students start feeling more confident uh, then they they will go on to python writing their own um, own codes. So that is a really good one. And I'm very excited for that just now when I heard about, uh, from Miha that, that the next years, uh, what they are having for the next year is already unplugged coding for the lower grades as well. Then there is assessment embedded. What else what a teacher would need that you don't have to prepare that much. It's already there. You just have to start and you are there um, uh, helping your students. And at the same time, uh, I must say, I also learned a lot with my students, not only my students, but I also learned a lot because it was helping me. Uh, uh, and because of all this, uh, all this thing happening, the students feel very confident because sometimes they help each other. Sometimes they help their, uh, the, the pro platform helps the students itself. And that's why they feel more confident and they feel more motivated to go on and on and on. 
So, and then this happened, this, this was very interesting for my students, some of very invisible students, those who do not usually ask questions, or even if they have questions, they are shy, they, they are afraid to speak up in the class. They actually started participating in, the, uh, in this, um, uh, asking questions through chat, and that was a really uh, a big motivator for those students, because then they started feeling confident along with their whole class. Uh, before it used to be like that, those invisible students used to be quiet, keep on waiting till the lesson ends. And after that, after the lesson ends, they would, some of them would come and ask questions, but some of them would just go, okay, I'll try sometime later. And then they are left behind then. But this, this thing has built up confidence and they could ask question immediately whenever they had a question without being visible uh, and yet got a help. So that was a really great booster for my students, and I'm really thankful to Kobe AI for that. Second, another thing was that m many students, as you all know, it's a world, it's a fact for all the students that many do not like maths. So, and uh, everyone understands that coding is more related to maths. But this one, even without, even there is some kind of a math or some, but the, it is more looks like game based. based. So it is more the student feel like they are playing. They are not doing math, rather they are doing. Uh, yeah, they are playing and they are progressing. And uh, uh, with, the, with the progression, uh, getting more motivation and more encouragement. So that was the the best thing about uh, Kobe AI. And I can actually feel very confident uh, opening it up and sharing it with my students, and then we all can work and learn together. Uh, there are, uh, I mean, there are certain things. There are some certain things that Kobe AI needed to improve. But I have already, I have already seen that me has explained what they have in pipeline for the next year. So I, I actually do not have much to say about that because, uh, because they have already heard or listened to us by just showing the next year's work because of what they are going to bring in, and that's really awesome. So what I can say is uh, we need more. <laughs> <laughs> and please bring it on. Thank you. Yeah, that, that's what I can. Uh, and one last thing which I would like to say that it is uh, like when they bring in the next year, it shows that they are going to have a lot of differentiation for the students at different levels. So as they were using heterogeneous groups, uh, the, every class in the world have different types of students, different level of students, and it's it's hard to differentiate. But if it is in, embedded in there, it is going to help immensely, uh, both the students as well as the teachers. So thank you for thinking about that as well. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Priti, for the return on experience and the great views also from you student that have really enjoyed the experience. And I like the part where you say that some of the shy students felt more confident thanks to the TD app and did not hesitate to speak up. I, I really could relate to that. And it's great to have uh, such nudges and incentives from, uh, from a smart tool like Kobe. Thank you so much, all of you, for uh, the great presentations today and the great work that you have accomplished over the, the past month. Um, so I have a few questions for you. Um, I, if you can maybe stop sharing, we'll see our pictures uh, yeah. in, in big on the screen. It will be more casual. Let's open it up to uh, thank you to a nice Q and A. So I have a first question um, that will be more directed to uh, Miha, Thomas, and uh, Herman. Uh, I would like to ask you what, in your opinion, is your greatest accomplishment over the course of the acceleration program? Well, I guess the piloting. <laughs> uh, it was. Uh... When we when we got applied to the the program, it was just a, I guess a, a bit of scary notion what we have to do. But uh, once we got the, the results from the teacher and uh, when we were able to confirm uh, our hypothesis, uh, this was probably the best thing that happened during the program. Also, like I mentioned, mentoring was the great. A, a great way of getting that knowledge. Uh, but uh, 
what surprises us the most with our solution, and we were really amazed to, to uh, realize that, is that teachers were learning as well. Uh, this means that we have really structured this in a great way. We were able to show teachers how to go through the classes, how to present the, the knowledge to the students. And this was really heartwarming uh, to hear from the teachers. May I add one Ready? sentence? Uh, it is looking into the eyes of students. If you see them smiling, I mean, you can't do more as a teacher. That's it. Smiling. Yeah. It's true. It's like, yeah, uh, job's done, uh, student confidence, student learn, student smiled, student liked it. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. You've you've done amazing and that's that's your reward as well as a teacher or as a as a, as an innovator. Yeah, um it's an of Ooh, course, well. of course, yeah. it's rewarding for for everyone. We're we're very proud. Um, I would like to ask a question to to Pretty and maybe to the the two other pilot teachers. You can answer in the chat. Um, I'll I'll read it out loud. I have a so a question to all the pilot teachers. Um, can you tell me what did your student prefer about the Kobe AI solution? The, the number one features that really caught them uh, into into the the solution. I can start. Uh, my students actually had some experience uh, with the coding, but and when they progress from one step to the next to the next, from Blockly to to uh, Python, they they actually looked back and thought like, oh, this is how we progress because they already were kind of up to Python level. Uh, so that that Python, and then they felt really very confident doing it all by themselves by looking at the progression from locally, how every step was being done. That was actually, uh, Python part was very, very interesting for them. And made them very confident. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Sorry, that is great. And confidence is key uh, yet again, um, a key word uh, here. Uh, I So speaking about keywords, I would like just to wrap it wrap it up uh, to ask you to describe um, the Kobe AI experience as a whole uh, in one word. Uh, so what would be your takeaway words uh, from, from Kobe? So embedded uh, in your experience at Impact or Kobe in general, how would you, what would come to your mind first? Uh, is it, Sorry. Who is it this question for? It's for everybody. I'll I'll ask uh, one word from everyone, and uh, please choose a different word. Be creative. I don't want to have the the same word twice. <laughs> uh, we have a uh, answer already. An answer in the chat. So the chat is yeah. faster. And Ida says, "Learning by gaming." It's uh, it's a nice, Ooh, very nice, nice nice caption. Nice. Nice. Very true. Thanks, Anida. Let's call it empathic intelligence. That's it. Definitely. Yeah. Even if this word is tricky, but yes. Uh, I was going for it for a different word, but soon as you ask, I was feeling amazing because uh, all all the things that happened to us were just amazing for us, and it was a really nice experience uh, to be in here and to build this uh, kind of product and to see what what students are feeling. Well, for me, I would say, yes, I can. Nice. <laughs> yes, you can code now. Yes, yeah. you can do you can do anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Um, well, we are right on time and reaching the the end uh, of this webinar. So I'll just uh, greet you goodbye. Yeah. And uh, thank you all. Uh, warmly thank you for, for the great work once again. Thanks uh, for thank all the speakers from my side as well. Yeah, yeah, I would also like to thank you first Impact, ATEX or Romain for really support us in the process and all mentors and especially pilot teachers who try our solution in real life. So thank you. Thank you. 
it was a great team. Uh, I can tell you've you've covered uh, tremendous work, and uh, I'm sure the results uh, will be rewarding for you and for uh, for everybody. Congrats to the team, to the whole piloting team. Um, thank you for those who attended today's webinar. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope uh, you're curious, even more curious about Kobe AI than you were before. Um, thank you, thank you, everybody. So we'll be we'll be sharing the the recording, so you'll be able to rewatch uh, this webinar uh, at your own leisure. Thank you okay. all. Have thank a great end of the day. Bye. 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 Bye.